what is up you magnificent people welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be reacting to one piece episode seven it's the second last episode i'm gonna really miss this show but i'm sure there will be more i did actually hear talks that they want to do a few more seasons so i'm very excited about that in the last episode we saw that they spoke a lot about dreams and how if you have dreams you should go get them and you won't be able to achieve your dreams if you don't go after them it really hit home on a lot of points we also saw that nami left with arlong because she was actually working with them the whole time if you watch the anime you knew this we also saw that luffy was left in this position where he had to decide what type of captain he was going to be and actually the role of a captain is to make those decisions you saw right at the end he was very decisive he said we're gonna go do this and we're gonna go do this so we ended off with them saying that they're gonna go off to nami so that's what i'm guessing we're gonna be seeing in this episode right here also if you like this content give it a like hit the subscribe if you want hit the notification bell just so you keep up to date with this without further ado i'm jumping straight into this let's see what happens so this one is called the girl with the sawfish tattoo so i'm guessing that we're gonna see nami's backstory in this the going merry say it to my face and that's the thing buggy's ear was in luffy's hat the whole time what are you gonna do bleed on me <laughs> bleed on me tangerine him so you can see he's still in that he's still in that mind frame of you know i've got to be the captain i can't let things go south again <laughs> the dinner special uh mars head so that's the thing zoro and sanji constantly have this sort of almost rivalry on the ship they're always working on each other's nerves, but the respect is definitely there. Which is interesting because in this show, they didn't really show why. The tangerine head girl. I do vaguely remember that pirates sort of ransacked the town and it left her in sort of this life of of having to steal and things like that. And that's just the other thing as well, that it starts off great like that, but then it ends up being here playing cards with criminals, essentially. <laughs> is it me or are they always bullying this guy? If it's the same henchman from before, don't think it is though. All in. All in. Strike. Royal flush. Queen's full. Oh, oh no, that's the guy. Fish lips. But I do think that, you know, she actually saved Luffy. Oh, there's Buggy's body. Wow. But I don't get it. Is he not able to just separate his hands, his fingers and everything? Wouldn't he just be able to separate it where it's tied? Unless he has to be in some type of distance, but then that wouldn't make sense because how was he able to control his ear all the way in Luffy's hat? But I'm not nitpicking. This show has impressed me long enough. Oh, so is that where they kept her? Oh, this is where she studied probably the maps. That's why she's such a good navigator. Coco Village, that's what it is. I wonder how that must have been, you know, in terms of the fact that before people actually explored the whole world, you had maps, right? Other people went before you and you just kind of studied them and you said, wow, this place is out here, this mountain is out here. I hate being poor. You may not have much. Wow. You're not even my mom. Oh. A boiled pot of tangerines. <laughs> it's funny because in this day and age, if you had a whole farm, you would honestly, you'd be considered wealthy, you know, a marine. Oh, that's why she's got the tough love. But I don't know if I finished the thought earlier, but I said she actually saved Luffy by saying, let the sea do it for you and talking to Arlong because he was about to just kill him. So she obviously knew someone was going to dive in and save him. I literally keep forgetting the subtitles. It's because I was watching um, Sandman and I don't watch it with subtitles. <laughs> One of the villages is late with their true vision. Coco Village. Wow. And that's there's that saying, right? There's no honor amongst thieves. So now I wonder, are the Marines going to end up fighting against the Arlong pirates? That's going to, that would be very interesting. My apologies, of course. We'll be right with you. And they basically said that this guy is a sellout. Oh, he's got a new leg. These days, I'm lucky if I remember my regulars. Oh, you'll remember this one. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but how about a mill on the house? I've got a 
dozen T-bone steaks and a busted cooler. It'd be such a shame to let all that delicious marveling go. Don't, my mouth is watering. That steak. <laughs> medium rare? More rare than medium. Oh man, because that's the thing. Every time someone asks for information with Zef, like we saw in the last episode, what does he do? He offers them a free meal on the house. So your mind goes, wait, I'll take the free meal. Where's this now? Arlong did this. The one thing I have noticed is that, and I don't know for what purposes, but they don't have Sanji smoking a lot of cigarettes. It's very interesting because in the anime, that's the only thing he does constantly. Or he just has a cigarette. But cigarettes are not cool. Wow. At least maybe they can get some intel out of her. And now you see his face, he's got the big scar on it. Oh. Imagine being the only security guard when pirates come through. A young Arlong. Oh. Oh, so this is when he did it. Oh my goodness, he flipped the whole house. Oh, the shot is cool because they have, you can see, it's been, it's been his. Arlong, just let us dry. Then find more blood. Wow, then find more blood. Take the rest of these clowns and sail. Clowns, I there's Buggy. <laughs> oh, I, like I said, you can get information from her, from the blue haired chick. I, I don't know what the name was. I think it was Okaniwa or something. Sorry if I'm butchering it. Usopp constantly trying to get out of things. And like I said, I'm, I'm not picking on Usopp anymore, but I'm just calling out things. Can I come help you? How about a meal? An exchange of sorts for your valuable time and information. You could. As a waiter. <laughs> As a waiter. It's so interesting to hear the South African accent in a show like this. Oh, wow. Are you doing it on purpose? They are doing it on purpose. The Bulldog General Garp. This is a rare vintage from Macquarie. Macquarie. There's a new generation and they're coming up. The worst generation. A glass of red, medium rare steak. Whoa, that guy's got a massive knob on his head. The Arlong Pirates know how to party, that's for sure. Fish lips. I wonder how long makeup must have taken. Oh, wow. Marines. Oh, this is the ones that can be paid off, they were saying. I vaguely remember this Marine. I have additional concerns. By concerns, it means money. It's sort of the same level as the, the deal that they have with the warlords, right? Sort of a couple of levels below that. Backstory, let's go. So I wonder if it was initially the Arlong pirates who ransacked the village the first time. But yeah. Oh yeah, well, we already saw that. Excuse the pun, but mind of a goldfish sometimes. And bullets don't work on their skin. He knows. Take it as tribute for my daughters. No more pizza. Oh, they're just gonna kill her. No Chico, that's in it. Wow, right in front of them. I mean, wouldn't you just say, can we at least do it outside? And that's what will get Luffy's blood boiling because, you know, is Zoro even capable of fighting at this point? And they're on the Konomi Islands, right? That's what Jeff said. That's where the closest doctor is. So unless he's completely healed, like go for a checkup, you know? Same way I knew you weren't going to kill me when I cut you down from my props. Same way I knew about Usopp and Sanji. Yeah, I know about that waiter. <laughs> that waiter. Tell me, Captain, what's a fair price for your discretion? One hundred thousand berry. You're not smarter than people give you credit for. That sounds like an insult. Does it surprise you that I have intelligence? Usage beyond manual labor for humans. But he's like, I'm a mouse. I'm not a human. <laughs> the fishman. He's one of the warlords. The 
Jinbei. Wow. That's why I'm saying I'm so excited to see where the show goes because there's so many more characters still to be revealed. And obviously things are just going to get better with time. You know, look how great this is just for the first season. It can only get better because the story has already been told. It's not like these other shows where you're wondering what's going to happen and sometimes the plot itself messes the show up. Like we know what happens. So all you have to do is present it to the people as best as you can. A hundred million. Wow. I still bet money fair and square. Now, are you ready to honor our agreement? A hundred million. Wow. But he's a he's a crook. Even if you pay, he wouldn't let you go. Nazumi. Oh, the rat. Looks like a mouse, to be honest. Not much of a drinker, are you? Well, he didn't accept the drink from General Garb. Oh, that's why he drank. Distract. Oh, I don't know why Garp is going after Luffy. But I'll drink. Thought it was going to take a lot more liquor to bring out your mutinous side. Mutiny! <laughs> Garp is Luffy's grandfather. Oh, wow. That didn't take long. Fellow with a straw hat came through here the other day. The loudmouth bartender. Two days I wrestled that cray frog. And I cooked it over an open flame. <laughs> Smoked. Charred. And that's basically what happens between the marines and the pirates, right? Last thing I want to do is put myself in the middle of a family dispute. A family dispute. It seems like everybody knows. It reminds me of Carl Roger. And look what happened to him. Executed. Skewered by marine pole arms. And you were standing right there, Gob. We know where they're headed. Thank you for the meal. Hey, hey. Have the navigator set a course immediately. Kanomi Islands. I think I want to rewatch One Piece, to be honest. Bow! <laughs> Why would they bring Buggy in with them? But I guess he probably wouldn't tell them exactly the way to all along, but. Don't you think of how long it's been since I've had any smoked fish? Maybe you guys had some extra? <laughs> <laughs> How would he even eat it? Where would it even go? Oh, that's where they buried her. Oh, so she buried the money close by. Okay. <clears throat> oh, that's the hundred million berry. Hundred million berry for Coco Village. Nazuma. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now he's gonna take all that money. A rat. An actual rat. It just makes my blood boil. Do you know what I mean? But that's the thing, you know? There's no honor amongst thieves. Like, Arlong's just gonna let you go. Man, it's crazy. Like, how would you feel in that situation? You took, I think it was, what, eight years or something? Which is pretty crazy to get that much money in eight years. Uh, oh my goodness it reminds me of when luffy stabbed himself in the face you know you need his help that arm would be finished you don't know anything <laughs> about what's going on here Oh, I remember. Wow. <laughs> let's go, Monkey D. Luffy. Let's go. Of course I will. Of course I will. Whoa. That can't be the end of it, though. Because sometimes the ending just sneaks up on you. Okay, so I, it was what I... Wait, that is the end. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. 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 Once again, incredible episode. And we're nearing the end. We're nearing the end. It's going to be a big fight. It's going to be a big war. Really great episode. Like, like I said, and it's with most things in life, is that everybody's got this backstory. Everybody's got this, the reasons behind why they do everything. And every character in the show has those reasons. And I love 
covered when they actually give the backstory on it because most of the time you know people might just think oh nami she's just this thief you know and she's just doing things for her own selfish reasons <clears throat> maybe the fact that you know her adopted mom was killed so that's why she acts the way she does and that would also be a legitimate reason to go down that light you know to go down that road but you find out that she's actually doing it for good reason that she just couldn't tell anybody about that and now we're seeing luffy as the captain you know using that desire to be the pirate king and giving his putting his straw hat on her head you know it's other than being the pirate king finding the one piece you need to realize is that the hat is probably the number one thing that means the most to him because that hat represents him being the pirate king you know shanks is the person who gave him that idea and showing him what a pirate is like but anyways i'm super amped to see how they end this what i really want to see though is that i really want to see an amazing fight scene i want to be able to see exactly what they do using all the luffy's abilities really putting everything in this one moment in this one episode i think that'll be the best way to end it because i do feel that the fight that they had luffy versus arlong was very weak and i feel that if they if they did it correctly they would build up all the fights they would just give you glimpses just glimpses of what is possible in the show so i'm really amped to see that but anyways if you like the video give it a like subscribe if you want to see more but hit the notification bell so that you actually see it as i release it i do like these premieres but anyways that's all from me i'm gonna be out thank you for watching peace in a bit